Hey friends, it's Ramona, welcome back. I have quite a full basket of empties here and not so empties, um, but we're just gonna get to it. It's a couple of days early, but I wanna clear up my basket to make more room. I am making up for lost melting time. Um, I do look like a hot mess. I did have a headache earlier. I don't get migraines very often, thankfully, two or three a year, probably that's it. But, uh, so I did have a little lie down earlier, so you will see some bed head too. But would you expect anything more new? No, of course not. Okay. Uh, one candle that I did not finish is Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. This is a staple every single year. Love the uh, lid. This, I, did I get this this year? I don't know. Anyway, I love it. This one, however, when it got down like to the final quarter, it turned really gray and the scent was non-existent. Very strange. It's never happened to me before with this particular candle. Twisted Peppermint has always been a great one to burn. Performance is fine. No tunneling, no puny wicks. I didn't have to do anything with it except I just lost its scent. And that's kind of odd. So I guess I need to get that out and then I can put the glass in the glass recycling bins. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, something I finished was um, from um, the Body Shop British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. And I bought this maybe last month. There was a, was it a 25% off sale? I got an email in my inbox from the uh, Body Shop. So it was just a small haul. I got it just basically to order... Um, white musk rollerball which i'm absolutely loving and definitely will want to get a backup of that uh in my car today i put cozy cardigan car bar which i absolutely love in wax and now i'm absolutely loving it in the car bar as well super strong love it and let's see of course i've not separated anything again no surprise there the one I took out was a scent circle and pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Just about gone, but this lasted almost a month. I'm really, really surprised. And I really enjoyed this one, pumpkin cinnamon swirl. It was not too cinnamony at all. So if you're afraid of the cinnamon, pumpkin cinnamon swirl is not as cinnamon as you, as the name might imply it, but it is. Oh. Okay, let's talk about bags. All right. Um, oh, two pieces left. I can finish that. No problem. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, Colonial Candle in Winter Lodge, which is wood ash, hot cocoa, and fire. And this was a candle that I ordered. Uh, Colonial Candle, obviously when I was still in Houston, maybe last fall, possibly. And uh, three or four of them came smashed. They replaced them easy peasy. Some of, most of them, I was able to save the wax. Obviously, this is one of them. Wood ash, hot cocoa, and fire. So the set, the set notes sound like it would be good. But all together, there was something in here. I didn't like it. At 1.30 in the morning, it woke me up. And I'm, it, I like the scent woke me up. It's like... What is that? And I had to get up at 1.30 in the morning and change the wax. It was so weird. I don't know if it's the wood ash and the fire, but I mean, I like smoky scents, so I can't imagine that that would be a turnoff. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna try another couple pieces in the daytime and see how it goes. Maybe I'll like it, maybe just for whatever reason, it didn't, you know, melt well. This is crushed candy cane, and I think this is a Homeworks candle. You know, I didn't put the, the maker on there. I think it's a Homeworks candle, and it's exactly what it is. Crushed candy cane, loved it, was really, really good. Okay, then um, this morning I was craving some bakery, so I put in sweet cherry pie, Bath & Body Works candle that I melted and made these cute little waffle tarts. Uh, with the silicone waffle mold that I got on eBay. So cute. I do have one more of these candles in the closet. Uh, sweet cherry pie. Yes. And um, how cute. 
oh gosh, this is so, this is so good. This is at least a year old. These uh, little tarts are that I made and it was still going strong. Now, as I said, I have one candle left in the closet. I believe I'm going to melt it and make more tarts as opposed to burning it just because it's so good. And if the candle does not perform well, I don't want to have to waste it. And I can just, you know, put little bits in as I please. So, and if I were, had the opportunity, if it ever comes out again, I would buy another one of those sweet cherry pie candles. But um, I do think I'm going to melt it and make tarts. Um, also in bags that I did not finish was Southbound Cafe Cream Puffs. And this was an order that I got uh, that I did not date because I'm bad at that. Um, I, this is the order that Canada Kim and I went in on after I moved here and Teresa T for two sent it to us. Anyway, Cafe Cream Puffs, one of my all time favorite coffee blends. I really enjoy it. Uh, roasted coffee beans, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream and confectioner's sugar. I don't find it overly sweet at all. I just find it a really nice, slightly creamy coffee blend. It's a really good coffee blend. One of my favorites, as I said. Okay, I uh, have this couple pieces left from the VCS um, poinsettia, Little Saint Nick is sugared spruce, frosted cranberry, apples, cinnamon, and clove. This again is another one of those scents I talked about yesterday. Uh, actually you'll see it on Saturday in, on Scentsy Saturday with a uh, blue Christmas is that it's not straight Christmas tree. It's not overly berry. It's a combination of the tree, the cinnamon and the clove and the fruit. It was really good. I don't know why I have only two chunks left. We're going to keep that out and we can knock that out pretty easily. Um, I melted some of sugar plum berry, uh, Scentsy brick. This took a real beating from the Texas move. Um, and it's, but it was still really good. Um, plums obviously and no but not too sweet i i didn't mind that at all and then i oh i forgot to do that so this will do it at the end okay i think the rest of these are pretty much empties oh no this one is not um from swan creek frosted cranberry and sugared vanilla this i was really impressed about it is 100 percent soy sometimes they don't last so long for me but this one i put in after lunch for my afternoon melt it went through all the evening and all through the night and it was a i could still smell it in the morning a little bit but de but definitely for the first you know afternoon evening really performed very well really impressed with that little soy melt right there okay and I think that's it. Oh, I didn't even, why is that? That's a full clam of my hero in the empties basket. Okay. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is a little bl homemade blend that I did. Oh yeah. So, um, this Saturday on Scentsy Saturday, was it last Saturday? Hang on. Okay, okay, must have been last week. I melted weathered leather and I really enjoyed weathered leather. And what I did halfway through the day when this was still going is I added one cube of around the campfire to each of the warmers that had uh, this in it. So it was now one to one weathered leather and around the campfire. And that was a really good blend. I really enjoyed that. So I had a couple of cubes left of each of this. So I thought, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I added some coffee to it. So I did, Kona coffee. So um, I, I melted this and made tarts out of all of it. So it was one, you know, one to one weathered leather around the campfire and Kona coffee. A little bit less of the Kona coffee because this Kona coffee is very strong. I really, it's really strong and it's really good. If you like coffee scents, go to, um, Hobby Lobby and get Kona coffee. It says strong and smooth with a robust richness. Yes, it is. All of that is just straight up strong coffee. So anyway, it was one to one around the campfire, weathered leather and a little bit less of the coffee. And I melted it all together and made some tarts and it turned out really good. So there's that. I have a couple cubes left of that. All right. And I think the rest of these are empty. Okay. Uh, Abominable, Abominable Snowman 
from VCS. This also was a poinsettia peppermint marshmallow mocha. Really, really good. The mocha really came through there. It was nice. Um, from, let me do nonsense. Okay. Uh, from, um, I need to get my scent list from the bathing garden. This was Goodnight Alice and it was kind of like, I want to say it was like maybe a light baby lavender, very kind of soothing. It was not a herbal lavender. Um, I got, I think it was like, I don't know. I have no idea what the scent notes are. My nose was that light baby lavender, like a baby lavender body wash and baby powder or something. I have no idea, but it was really good and I enjoyed it in my bedroom that night. Uh, from Scentsy Snowberry, which is going to be Scentsy Saturday on um, this coming up Saturday. Love Story. I was just kind of pulling things out, which is why I, I kind of, I, I, I kind of um, hold back when I say I'm a seasonal melter. I try to be, but then I do like a week or so of seasonal and then it's like, okay, I need something in there to, to make it different, <clears throat> which is why, I had, you know, the... Um, the bathing garden one and the love story one that were not seasonal. But I was just ready to get out of the seasonal thing. Uh, Blue Christmas. You'll hear me talk about on Saturday as well. Love it. Um, the cone of coffee. Uh, cranberry garland. I melted the other day. Really strong longevity. Love it. Cranberry and Christmas tree. I don't know pine, spruce, whatever it is. This one here, the cranberry kind of gets. In, lost in the garland part of it but it's still there but if you like garland scents christmas tree scents you'll like that with a little bit of sweetness the cranberry made it sweet uh almond croissant i melted that yesterday super strong it used to be in my club i took it in my club because it seems to be in the last few catalogs it's been there if you like bakery you have to try almond croissant it's so bakery so long lasting so strong and it makes a good mixer as well. And then I had a little bit left of toasted marshmallow. Um, this uh, was one of the ones that got damaged in the move, like half of it had melted out. So it was a little nubbins left that I melted those as well. Oh, and then from Color Street on my nails today is Ice to Meet You. I put it on yesterday, I think, or maybe the day before, I'm not sure. So it is like kind of like a dark blue with like silver snowflakes. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's, I really like this one a lot. It is not currently in the catalog, but make a list of your wish list and add ice to meet you on it. So um, that's it for my empties for now. Um, probably all, you know, as I said, <clears throat> usually we're talking to them like every Friday, but it was just last Friday. But it looks like a lot, but a lot of them are bags that I did not finish. They're just, you know, bits out of them, but anyhow. So that's it for uh, the Wax Empties for today. I hope everybody's having a great day, getting all your Christmas shopping done. And I'm almost done. I'm really excited this Saturday. My sister is coming and her daughter, my niece, who is my godchild, and her new baby. So I'm a great Auntie Mo. So I'm really looking forward to seeing my great niece on Saturday. So anyway, that's my thing that I'm looking forward to this week. I hope you have some fun stuff coming up in your life too. And I will see you soon. Bye.